Starting with Jeremiah, uh, obviously big night on the ground tonight for you and the other running backs. What was the key to the successful rushing attack tonight? Offensive line for the most part. Um, we mean, running backs played pretty well, made some guys miss, but it is really offensive line. Got to give it to them. Uh, they played their hearts out and uh, just helped the running backs, you know, play a great game. Now, Ryan, what was it like having to come in so unexpectedly there in the middle of a tight game? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always, I'm my, my head's always in the game. If I'm, you know, I had a little injury, started off, couldn't play for a couple games, but once I was able to play and I know I was able to play, my head was always in the game. And, you know, you're always one play away no matter what's going on. One, in, one play away, one bad hit on the quarterback, you're in. So you just got to stay focused and be ready to play. Now, how does it feel coming in after a couple weeks off and getting a huge win against a team that was playing pretty well? It felt great. I mean, I didn't have to do much. A couple decent big third down plays. Other than that, our offensive line dominated and running backs ran well, and it felt great to get that win. Now, Dylan, you guys forced four turnovers defensively tonight. What was the key to the success on the defensive side? Really, we knew the game would be put into the hands of the DBs, knowing how this offense was, how good their quarterback was. And really, we just knew we had to get the ball back to the office so they could make plays. Dylan just uh, hit on that too as well. The DBs talk about your counterparts you have out there too, and you know their play play as of late. You got a couple of young guns out there with you too. Your young player yourself, uh, you know, sophomore. So just talk about that. Oh, uh, we got our leader Matt McCoy out there. We got a great coach, Coach Gonzaga. He gets us right. He makes sure that we're focused on everything, focused on the details. So really, our age doesn't matter out there because we're so focused on our details. Okay, and then. Uh, Jeremiah, obviously, uh, you know, not a usual situation. The team has a bye week this upcoming week. So, um, I mean, whether it's, you know, getting, you know, people are banged up healthy or getting in watching more film, what's the team really looking forward to doing um, in this extra time? Nothing for the most part. Just staying consistent. You know, we've won four out of six games. So, I mean, obviously, we've got to be doing something right. So, uh, just staying consistent, staying the course, and just, coming out every day and just uh, giving our all and finding 100%. All right. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate our players. I mean, they did a heck of a job preparing all week, well prepared. Uh, I think they took the momentum of the great things that happened in the first half, built on them in the second half, and, you know, hats off to them for being able to close and finish the way they did. Now, right off the bat, early in the game, you were able to get a field goal off a northern turnover. How important is that to turn that turnover into points, especially early in the game? It, it, really important because I'll be honest with you, we haven't scored a lot of points in the first half this season as an offense. And we knew it was going to be important with, the, with as potent an offense as they had. We knew it was going to be important for us to be able to get on the board early, put the pressure on them, uh, give our defense a lead, and, and we were able to do that. And, and, and the other part of it was I think it gave our guys confidence that we could just we could move the football, get it down there. A little frustrating that we didn't score a touchdown, but still getting points on the board was critical, especially early in the game. Now, on the same token, the, the rushing attack was enormous tonight. It was a little bit more of David Nay in the first half, and then in the second half it was Johnson more. So talk about the rushing attack as a whole tonight. Well, first of all, you know, our, I thought our offensive line and our receivers did a great job of blocking. Uh, and, and then the backs really took advantage of some of that open space. We broke some tackles. We made some fantastic runs. More than anything, tonight we had a bunch of explosive plays. You know, it wasn't just five, six, seven yards. It was a lot of big plays in addition to the five and six yard gains. I thought our backs ran extremely hard. Uh, and, and, you know, they shared the duties. They were fresh at the end of the game. Dave got a little dinged up in the, in the first half, but, but we had a f four guys that all scored, all made big plays, and, and I thought played really well. And now in the, in the first half, you guys really dominated the stat sheet, but obviously the scoreboard, it was still very close. You got that score at the end of the half there, but talk about how comfortable you felt going into halftime. You're dominating the game statistically, but still very close on the scoreboard. Well, well, the good thing was we were moving the football. And as I said, we hadn't scored a lot of points as an offense all season, so to have 13 was a good thing. And, and we got in there at halftime, and we told our guys it was a good first half. We didn't finish drives like we needed to, uh, and that, that was going to be the key in the second half, not just the big plays, not just to move the football, but to finish with touchdowns and not settle for field goals. And, and they rose to the challenge and did a great job. Now, the defense forced four turnovers tonight. That was really the storyline of the defensive play. Talk about that and how important that was for tonight's win. You know, when we compare this defense and the way they've played through six games to, to the past couple of years, 
you know, they're not just doing a great job of tackling and being very assignment oriented, but they're forcing turnovers. Uh, and that was huge. Once again, big for us. Uh, and if we continue to force turnovers, we're going to give the offense more opportunities to get the ball back and get it in the end zone, especially with good field position. So, you, you know, a couple of them were, were, were balls that looked like the quarterback threw up and we, and we made the catch, but that one strip uh, I thought was a big play because they were moving the football on us. We were able to strip it out of there and get it back for the offense. So, uh, you know, defense is playing great right now. They're running the football. They're playing with confidence. And, and you know, we had a chance of five turnovers if we didn't get the penalty with Marvin's interception there at the end. So I, I like the way they're playing. They, they, they're flying around, and, and that's what you need a defense to play, like physical, fast, and hard. And then last question for me, do you have any idea of the status of Jacob LeClaire going forward? You know, I, you know, I, I rolled his ankle a little okay. bit on the one play, so we'll, we'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll evaluate it on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we, we said this coming into the season. I, I think we've got two guys in that in that group with, with Jake and, and Ryan that are both hard workers, great leaders, and we've got confidence in both. And then it was good to see Donovan Stewart get in there at the end and get a little experience because that's what he needs to get ready to play. Mm -hmm. And then just a final question here. Uh, you got Wayne State now in two weeks. Talk about what you're expecting from that team. Wayne State's been playing great football. They really have. Uh, we, we haven't seen much of them, but the little we've seen, uh, they've been very physical on defense, running the ball well, and they've been running the football really well. So it's going to be a great challenge. We'll get a chance to watch film. Uh, they won again today uh, against Finley, common opponent. I think they won by six. But uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. It's down there. Having two weeks to prepare for it's a good thing, and we're, we're going to get right back to work and, and, and start looking at it and, and get ready to play. And okay, just a couple with me. I know I noticed at least you know with your kickoffs today, you guys really made an effort to keep it out of that dangerous return uh, that the Wildcats had. Maybe being okay with giving them you know around the 30, and you know you actually almost got a couple of loose balls too. So just. Talk about that a little bit. Well, that's a great point. I mean, I thought our special teams across the board w w w was really good today. But, but we had seen a very dangerous return game in the kickoff return game. Grand Valley kicked the ball nine yards deep against them, and they were, they were returning it from nine yards deep in the end zone out past the 50. So we knew even if we kicked it and went in the end zone, they were going to return it, and they've, been, they've returned a couple for a touchdown. They've had touchdowns called back, so it was a dangerous guy. So we took advantage of the fact that they had some linemen in those other spots and, and gambled on the field position in order to keep the ball out of the hands of their, their big return guys. Okay, and lastly, obviously not a situation that happens very often with a bye week coming up for you guys. What's kind of the plan for that? Maybe what's different? if anything, is compared to a normal week? Well, you know, a couple of days to get our guys rested up, especially this point in the season where you're the middle of the season, everybody's banged up, uh, you know, you're sore every week. Give our guys a couple of days to heal up and then get right back to it, you know, and, and have three really good practices in the middle of this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, you know, have a focus on getting better as a football team. You know, really focus on getting better and, and then do our focus on Wayne State as well.